Age Squad. Welcome back to the episode of Is Is Worth It. So today episode we got this cool one right here. And basically what this is, is a water repellent shoe that's from a brand called Alpers. If you guys remember in the past, I actually viewed another shoe from this brand before, and that was like an all wool design shoe. The one that I have right here for today's video is very similar. So I'm seeing for the one that we got right here, it's called a wool dasher muscle. And the way how to design the product allows you guys to use it casually, running, walking, or however you guys want to use it, that is up to you guys. But it's supposed to have the water repellent that's on here. So if you guys get water on here, it should be fine. And right here, the color design that we got. So first I'm actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right. So once you guys open up, this is what the product looks like. So once you take it out first. So once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. So for both of these are basically the same thing, one for left and one for right. Let me just show you guys what one side looks like. So here is what the product looks like on this side. Here is the front. Here is the other side. Here is the back. If you see the back, they do have the brand logo and right here as well. If you see it on bottom, this is what the bottom part looks like. So you see the bottom right here, they do have like the non-slip material. So that way when you guys are walking or running, you don't have to worry about slipping when you guys do put this on. And right here is basically what the inside looks like. And right here they mention how the pot is very soft when you guys do feel it. But let's take this part out first. Once you guys take it out, this is what the pot looks like inside. And you see how they actually have like the wool material inside to keep you guys really warm and comfortable when you guys do put it on. And also if you guys notice the way how they designed the side right here, it will definitely give you guys a very good comfort and support. And we have to do the inside. The insole that's inside actually feels very comfortable when you guys do feel it. And then front part right here, we do have the shoelace where to tie on. And when you guys feel the material that's on the outer layer, it actually feels really soft and very smooth. But I do mention the material that they have on here is water repellent. So we will test that out in a second. And when you guys bend the shoe, it's actually very flexible. So that is everything that's on the shoe. Let me just go put this on to show you guys what she looks like first. And then we'll do a water repellent test to see whether or not the product is water repellent. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the shoe. Let me actually put it on to show you guys what she looks like. So when you guys pull this part here, if you guys notice, it's actually super stretchy. So that way it makes it a lot easier for you guys to put it on. So right off the bat, when you guys do put on a shoe, it actually feels pretty comfortable. But once you guys put it on, this is what the product looks like. If you see the way how they design the shoe, it actually looks pretty nice. But let's walk around to see how it feels. So when I actually put this on, it actually feels super comfortable. Whether if I want to use this casually for like walking around or doing physical activity like running, it actually feels really comfortable. So if I want to like jog, or if I just want to do like jumping jacks, it actually had a lot of support and traction on here. Like I do notice when I'm walking around, the knots of material in the bottom, it actually prevents me from like slipping, which is really cool. But this is what the product looks like when you guys do put it on. If you can see, it definitely looks and feels pretty nice. But now let's go test out the water repellent on here to see whether or not it's actually water repellent. So let's turn on some water to actually test it out. All right, so you see how the water just comes off really easily. Let me actually bring the camera a little bit closer. All right, so we'll test it out one more time. Alright, so see how the water just comes off really easily. Some of them kind of stays on, which is totally fine, but it is water repellent and not waterproof. So if you guys get a little bit of water on here, it is completely fine. But if you guys plan on fully submerging product, you guys shouldn't do that because it's not fully waterproof. It's only water repellent or water resistant. So if you guys feel the inside, none of the water got inside. It's only the outer layer right here. And having that water repellent on here is actually pretty nice. So that way it's easier for you guys to clean your shoe if you guys do need to. But that is a quick little test to show you guys that the shoe is water repellent. Welcome back guys. So next topic test, the product definitely actually does work and it works quite well. So you can see when you guys put on the shoe, it definitely looks and feels pretty nice. So that way you get that all day comfort and support. But you guys will also look really nice when you guys do put it on. And you guys can see from the water repellent test, the product is water repellent, but it's not waterproof. So if you guys plan on fully soaking your shoe, that is not ideal because the product is water repellent and not waterproof. So that's definitely something to remember when you guys do purchase these shoes. But one thing I actually noticed when I do put it on, the nonstick material on the bottom definitely does work because I did notice when I'm walking around, it doesn't feel slippery. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for these shoes, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these. 
especially if you gotta try and look for some high quality wool shoes that is water repellent and also allows you guys to use it casually working out, running or whatever then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't even want having one of these then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else actually do need so that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.